Now let's talk about line charts. So line charts are often used to plot continuous data and are very useful for identifying trends in the data. For example, you want to see the growth of your company and the products you sell. Then you can plot a line chart and see how your company is growing. And you can also visualize at what time of the year which product was most popular. Normally, the horizontal axis has time in equal intervals. As you can see, for this data, I have years in equal interval and the vertical axis has values. So now in this example, I have sales data of pants and shirt for each year from 1953 to 2000. So we have the data in percentage in this year, we sold this percent of shirts, this percent of pants and these are the other products. If I create a line chart from this table, this is how it will look like. So these are the others, this is shirts and this is pants as you can see in the legends. So if you want to create this chart, let's first delete it. Now let's create a chart. So I will insert a chart. I will use a line chart, then I will add axis. So I will add, so I have added the axis. Now let's add series. I have used control shift and down arrow to select the entire column. Now let's add pants as well, control shift and down arrow. Now we have others as well. So let's add others, control shift and down arrow. Okay. Now we have this, let's select column A as label and use it as header. So this is how our data will represent in terms of a line chart. Now we don't have the title and the horizontal title as well, but we can see the data. Let's add the title. If you want to add the title, customize charts and title. Let's add sales only. And for the horizontal axis title, let's add years will be good. Now, if you look at this data, you can see that this is the others, which is around two to 5% only. This is the sales of shirts over a year, which has increased over pants in around 1980. And this is pants. So before 1980, people bought more pants than shirt. And after 1980, people are buying more shirts than pants. So you can see we have years in interval of 10 years. So it is 1950, 1960, 70, 80, 90 and 2000. And these are the percentage. So shirts were around 43% in year 1953. And similarly, pants were around I guess 55%, yeah, it is 53.90% in year 1953. Now if I move to customize and then go to let's say series and then let's say I apply the points to the data series, let's say seven pixel. So as you can see, these are the data points. So for each data point, there is a circle marked on the graph, which is highlighting that data point. So as you can see, there are too many data points. It doesn't look good. And if I add data labels here, as you can see, it looks weird as they are overlapped and does not look good. But in case you have less data, you can add these data labels and the data points as well, which will bring more information to this chart. So let's remove this data label. Now, as you can see, these years have interval of 10 years. If you want to reduce this interval, go to this grid lines and ticks, then select the horizontal axis and this count, you can select the steps as well. So if you want five steps, let's say five. And now the interval is five year. So it looks better now. Similarly, you can do other formatting as well. So this is how you can create a line chart. In Excel, we have shown you that you can create a 3D line chart as well and a stack line chart as well. But Google Sheet does not allow you to create a 3D line chart or a stack line chart. So we can only create a simple line chart here. Now in the next video, we will move to the other type of chart. Thank you.